Uh, welcome to FSMS Advertising. I'm here with the proprietor, Mr. Clenson. He's been very gracious to host us, to show us the different bonding techniques using the different glues. They're a very experienced fabricator located here in Kusais, and he will run us through the different uh, techniques you need to use when you use different glues for bonding acrylic along with his team. So let's go check them out. Let's follow us inside. So Godfrey and Joseph is going to help us now again to show 192, which I would say is the next in terms of difficulty after 127. This is a more viscous glue. And along with that, we have the thinner again, which is used to prepare the surface. So while Joseph cleans the surface, I will just explain some of the preparations they've done. So they have, we are going to do a straight joint again. And this time when we do the straight joint, one of the pieces of acrylic is slightly beveled by almost two millimeters so it's not exactly straight and they will fix this with a jig and that bevel space is there so that it can allow some of this glue to uh, go into the space to form the bond because being a very viscous glue it needs space to enter and to start formation to start polymerizing and create the bond. So with Acrifix 192, Clemson, you were saying, I think anything about 10 mm up to 30 mm. Yeah, we can, yeah, this, uh, yeah, Acrifix, uh, this uh, 192, we can use up to 10 mm to 30 mm. And this is for wherever we need a uh, high strength, high strength or a long term purpose. We are using this uh, 192. The specialty of this 192 means in the Acrifix, it is added the hardener. It is coming with the hardener. It is not the hardener is it is not a separate the hardener help us acrifix to get dry fastly and the method how we are uh, applying the acrifix different uh, there is a difference than the 127 yes. this one the first uh, the uh, anand said in the edge we are giving a two mm beveling to get the gap to fill the acrifix then only in this gap the acrifix will go and it will hold the bottom and the top. And we are not putting the acrifix like a previous uh, method 127, we put the whole area with the acrifix. But this time, we are allowing only 2 mm area only, we are putting the acrifix. Then, it, because why we are doing like this, there is no chances for the bubbles. <laughs> And before that, uh, we are putting the acrifix. We should uh, hold this top arm and bottom yes. with a small uh, thinner acrylic yeah. with the chloroform pasting. Yeah. So it's like a jig, yeah. almost. So like a jig we are giving. And the bottom, uh, we should give 5 mm little bit outside yes. for the for fine finally for making the hand rooting and uh, polishing. Yes. So that's with a normal Acrifix glue or chloroform. This is creating the jig. Yeah. So the main advantage with the 192, I think, is definitely the clarity of the bond and most importantly the strength of the, the bond. Strength, yeah. it because it is like a like a concrete. The method is like a concrete. At any cost, the joint will not break. The acrylic can acrylic can break, but the joint where we apply the Acrifix, yes. that area will be like a concrete only. It becomes almost one piece, almost. Yeah, after, after it is done, it is not really two pieces. It becomes a single yeah, unified single piece. piece. And if you are trying to release from two pieces, no, we cannot. When we are applying the chloroform, only the two edges and with the supporting acrylic only we are pasting. Not in the bottom, we are not applying the chloroform. Okay. Just when we are applying the acrylic, we should care that one. With 192, does the 
the bonded part have to be uh, polished and laser cut i think it can be also just router cut right it doesn't have to be a smooth clear finish can yeah, yeah, it, we can, yeah. it can be a rough edge also yeah, right? rougher, yeah. it will become clear i think yeah, after yeah, after, yeah. The bond, uh, yeah, after the bond no right. when or no only if we want to the clear portion before applying the acrylic we should make polish only the 2 mm where we did the beveling there is no need to polish because we are putting acrylic only the 2 mm area correct the the, the bottom piece is on the surface it is yeah, anyway it is anyway gloss yeah. and yeah. clean yeah and the advantage of that is this acrylic in any color of the acrylic we can apply in any color okay but the bond will always be clear correct yeah, the bond always will be clear wherever we want to uh, when we are using for the illumination yes. if the, the client no don't want to see the shades yes. they can apply this acrylic so now as you can see there's a jig completely to hold and catch the excess material that will come out of the uh, once the bond is the acrylic is poured in there's a lot of work involved definitely when using the 192 it's much more a uh, lot more skill is required a lot more time and patience and it takes uh, uh, it's quite difficult in general so it's a lot of practice but the advantage is that the bond is like mr clens has said like concrete it will never break so like we are doing a lot of pre uh, preparations to start the bonding itself even once the bond is set there is a lot of finishing work involved in this also uh, after you create that strong bond with the acrylics 192 So I notice the syringe also is with tape is that so it doesn't harden inside it is yeah it is yeah and uh, the sunlight yes. the light will not uh, penetrate that uh, if the sunlight gets through the the clear portion yes. there is a chance to get dry and it will be hard yes. so this glue since it's a single component there is no activator generally a little bit of light sunlight can harden it very fast so once you remove it from the material the glue from the bottle very important to use it as soon as possible so it doesn't harden that's why we are uh, covering with the masking tape so as the material is poured in that 2 mm beveled edge will allow some of the material to uh, flow inside that space and start to harden and any excess material so it's always better to put little more extra than Yeah, less because anyway you're going to there's additional finishing that needs to be done later so as much material as you can will flow into that bevel edge harden and set and once we are confident it is set we can remove the jig and do the final finishing whenever we are going to drop the acrylics uh, we should not use the syringe only the head of the syringe we are using yes because this is a little bit hard if we are using syringe it will not go it will not pass through yeah <coughs> so always when using 192 depending if you're doing like this a straight bond which is uh, two pieces together you can even do more complex uh, angles like uh, 135 degrees or 60 degrees but accordingly you have to make a jig and prepare the material so that it sits in a stable position and you pour the glue into that bonding space uh, and uh, the there is one thing we should care that when we are uh, pouring that acrylic there is a gap yeah. on that gap also we should fill with the acrylic because okay. it is absorbing wherever the 2 mm bevel we did the acrylic that space will absorb It'll keep absorbing yeah over time. if we are if we are putting only in a area after some time if you are check uh, there is a gap and 
bubble will be there. Yes. That's why we are more putting aquifix, excess, yeah, excess putting we are. Then after that final finish, it will it, we will get the final uh, smooth edge. And so, after the aquifix in uh, process did, then uh, if we are uh, showing through the sunlight. Yes. The dry, it will get uh, immediately dry. So I think you are saying the 30 minutes yeah, to one 30 hour. 30 minutes, uh, one hour maximum. With, with under sunlight. Yeah, under sunlight we will get. If there is no sunlight in uh, normal uh, winter season, if there is no sunlight, then it will take to allow to get dry more than 12 hours. So inside the office, inside the factory itself, yeah, you can keep it after 12, 15 yeah, hours. In some cases, if it is urgent, yeah. we can use UV light also. Yeah, the more watts. If we are using more than 250-300 watts UV light. Okay. If we are applying, then within half an hour or 45 minutes, the acrifice will get dry. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you or somebody you know is looking for any type of fabrication work, especially involving acrylic or polycarbonate and even wood, please make sure to get in touch with Mr. Clenson at the FSMS. They will definitely help you out and give you a very competitive and very high quality work. Please make sure to check for that contact information in the description of this video so you can get in touch with them. And thank you again Mr. Clenson and the team at FSMS for helping us with this video.